Too bad the motherfucker has to be lifting at the back of it, eh? Can't be too easy. actually hit the goddamn thing would help. Ooh. Your gloves? Oh my god. Give it a quarter turn if you can. Arms are dying. Yeah, that's mine. We're getting sore yesterday trying to smack it out of there, too. At least you can see you're accomplishing something today. <laughs> Here, I'll hold the light bulb for you. It's coming. Need some more heat, maybe. Right, right through, eh? She's rusty. Forty years of rust. The uh, seal's been leaking up on this tranny. <laughs> hoses that are undone. I want to pull out that fucking massive gear puller. <laughs> oh fuck, it's on the Steering wheel puller. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah. Right, Twan?
You can't wiggle it at all, eh? Nope. Wiggle the whole transmission. Come the long ways every time you hit it. There you go. Yeah. Oh my god. <sighs> On the input shaft, you said. Output shaft back here. Oh. Boy, it treads on the back of that shaft, eh? Yeah, there is. There's a bunch of fine ones. Banging away on here. Stop for a second. Yeah. There. Oh. How's that? On your strap, uh, is it tight? Not anymore, I'm sliding away with it. Okay. Ugh. Can I let go of it then, or? I'm just kind of with my fingertips right now. Get your hands out of there next? It There's not much to see really from back here. I can kind of sort of see it through the hole here, but not much. Want it? Want the yellow strap? Yeah. No, they're all broke, those ones. The little blue ones probably aren't strong enough. No, yeah. That one is in the upright position right now, or what? Okay. Remember when this one does, it's going to swing. Okay. It's going to go. Okay. Thought maybe that was the part where we should be calling the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch you if you fall down. I can let it down. You guys just. The floor. What's underneath it? An extension cord. No, 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 on the bottom of it. 
dirt and oil. Flat. Yeah, flat, and this hangs down about an inch. So, like a couple of 2x4s underneath it or 2x6s wouldn't be a bad thing? No. There's one here. 2x4. Oh, I'll push it back in where it belongs. It's hanging out right now. Just, just wiggle it. It'll, it'll go in. Doesn't want to turn. It was turning before. There you go. Not a little. Fuck it. <laughs> you filming? I am. Yes. Want me to look at you instead no. of the gears? No, is that what it is? You're jealous? Yeah, no. Antoine's jealous. That. <laughs> that. Right there oh. is that middle part where there's nothing on the gear shift. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's your deep. Oh, this spring is for the detents. Okay. So we need a magnet on a stick then, maybe. See anything? Dirty oil? Nope. Thought I saw something. I see there's a screen on the bottom. Yeah. It's nice and white. There's some. Give it here. Mm, there's still oil down there, so you're not going to see too much. Might be fishing for a while. It was leaning that way. So probably over there. Probably over in the park. Is that just bolted on? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> huh, so the nut just got loose and it fell off then. Yep, that's it good. Huh. See that thing? I'll clean it off. It's pretty clean actually. Yeah. <laughs> Found it. Ah. Impressive. Just a lock nut on that. How does the roller look? Not bad, actually. Huh. There, well, put her together again, put her back in. <laughs> Been half riding in there sideways all I wonder if someone at the factory summer. forgot to tighten it. <laughs> <laughs> There was one person in the comments, I think it was the old 400 Versatile, he said he was building them in Winnipeg when That's they were new. Fault. So it's probably his fault, he was probably still there when they were doing these ones. <laughs> Holy fuck, it's all zoomed in yet. <laughs> How's she going today, guys? Well, we got her liberated from the tractor there and Figured out what was wrong with it. Those little pieces I showed you. See, there's a, this one's the opposite way as you can see it. There's the nut and the nut piece and that little spacer, the roller wheel. Here's the one that fell out. And all that was, 
the little nut, oh we can't see it, you can see this one though, that little nut got loose, fell off, fell in the bottom. So then everything went into neutral, because it, you know, moves your shifting forks, so. A pretty easy fix, thank the good lord. <laughs> but, uh, I'm probably going to put new bearings in, just because we got the transmission out, I mean it makes sense to, I think they're only, uh, three or four hundred dollars apparently to do uh, all I think there's eight bearings in it so I'm gonna change them while it's out and then we know it's good that way so there's a nice big empty hole I'm gonna change uh, one of the universal joints because when Antoine was taking the cap off all the needles fell out in typical fashion for those fucking things so but anyway there's the nice uh, stand we made to take everything out our chain ratchet we got from a neighbor and his uh, little monorail there is caster and then we bought the i-beam and everything and the cabs come from factory there's two threaded holes there and two threaded holes over there up against the window and that's when they lower the cabs on at the factory that's how everything was like on their big crane, their gantry crane, that's how they lowered them down. So you could buy rails and there's some dealerships that have them and uh, that's how they bolt on. So we got one of our mechanic friends that works at a place that has one to send us pictures of it. And we uh, built our own and made it a little bit better than theirs because the uh, ones that they've got ends, they end up setting the transmission on your fuel tank. So. We made ours so he would actually lower it down to the ground and work on it so and uh, the ones they have don't have this pole on the end but since we made ours well whatever that's I forget what it is three feet longer than what it's supposed to be we put that on it a little extra support because otherwise it's just those two bolts holding all the weight so but anyway that's about all I have to tell you, so I'm going to go order uh, those parts there. My passed away grandpa there, he was a man that was always prepared, so he's got the, if I can separate it here, has the parts book with all the parts numbers in it, so I already found what I needed here and marked it down, how many I need of each of them, so that way I can go in and... Uh, just order what I need so and then I'll be good to go so anyway that's all I have to tell you so until the next one I guess we'll uh, talk to you guys later so hit the like button to subscribe for more we'll see you later